Hi, I'm Pastor Steve Green, and with me is my wife, Dee. As we continue to work our way back, we believe the first thing to get back to is prayer. After 40 years of ministry, we know that prayer changes things. You're not alone. If you need prayer, call the MTC Christ is Center prayer line. Or submit your prayer request online, mtcfc.org. Remember, Remember, we're we're here here for for you, and we've we've got got your back. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on. Praise the Lord. Let's give God a praise. Let's get ready to enter into the courts of the most high God. Come on, MTC family that's here in person. Greetings to the Facebook, YouTube friend, wherever you are. Let's get this thing started. Let's make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands, as we bring to a a conclusion uh, 2022 uh, prayer conference 2022 behind us here prayers that availeth much why don't you give God a praise for so much more knowing that the effectual fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much making tremendous power available dynamic in his working come on even at home oh clap your hand Uh, all you people declare the end from the beginning God says I will do all my pleasure everything that God had and intended to do in 2022 and let there be a carryover into 2023 let's make a joyful noise unto the lord let's serve him with gladness let's come before his presence with singing let's know that the lord he is still 
God. It is he that hath made us, not we ourselves. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Court is now in session. The judge of judge is now in the room. The advocate, the mediator, the arbitrator, he's here tonight. Give God the praise. Open your mouth like you've been told for the last three sessions that prayers mean something. You got to praise until demons begin to tremble. It makes tremendous power available. Yes, because we know when we pray, we live. As you can hear the song and the musicians beginning to let remind us that, that to worship him we live, to worship him. Somebody begin to already before we introduce our, our format tonight. Oh, Come on, I'm not the psalmist tonight, uh, but good evening to the warriors of God, to the prayer warriors. Let me hear you cry. Oh, 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 oh. come on, we hear the prayer warriors uh, for 2022, 2022, uh, as we give a shot of it. Oh, 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 come on, prayers that avail it much. Let's get ready to go before, uh, beyond the veil. Uh, let's come boldly before the throne of grace that we may uh, find grace to help in the time of need. Appropriate help coming just when we need it. Come on, let me hear the war cry of the warriors, army of God. Oh, 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 oh. come on, saturate the room, saturate the globe, saturate the hemisphere, saturate the country, the county, the city, the state, the community, your home. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, and I see you. Come on, with all the teaching we've been getting from the millennials, the generations, the years, somebody cry, oh! oh. The presence of the Lord is in this room. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thank you for the burden removing yoke breaking power of the living God. For the anointing destroys the yoke. It is the anointing that destroys the yoke. Oh, the devil's in trouble tonight. On the face of the devil's in trouble. Y'all act like y'all came here to do it. Oh. Can you let that rise, let that rise, let that rise? The pan of liberty is in the house uh, for this solemn assembly. Oh! 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 Oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. One last time. Oh! If this is your first time joining us since we kicked off 2022, prayer conference we want to confer to god with god we want to refer to god we want to defer to god amen to hear what we need to do to close the year with a bang and at the same time to give us inspiration and give us illumination and revelation as we accept the challenge to become a house of prayer now already on sunday I did the first leg of that, was talking about going beyond the veil. And uh, thank God that prayer, when you go beyond the veil, I call it, let me say this before the intercessors come tonight. Uh, when you go beyond the veil, I call it uh, the veil. The veil means a curtain. You can kind of see here a little curtain. There's a curtain. It's a veil. What I'm expecting the Lord to do when all the intercessors who are going to join us tonight, give the Lord a hand for the intercessors. That's going to release a surge. Come on, give God a hand of praise. The intercessors are, are in the house. I'm expecting another dimension of the surge. For God to magnify, to be magnified. Amen. I mean, oh, I'm enlarging our territory. But the Lord says, you know, you, you've heard the word veil and curtain. But there's one particular dimension of veil or the word curtain that sticks out in my mind. And it's called a curtain call. A curtain call. A curtain call is done when in theater or in sports, somebody has done something phenomenal. They have worn and knocked it out of the park. And they act like they ain't done nothing, just ran around the bases. They go in the dugout or whatever, go back in the behind the stage. But the audience is still amped, and they have to come back out for a curtain call. I don't know 
where America was before 2019. But I declare tonight that there will be a curtain call tonight. So people are getting ready to come back. Come on. We've had all kind of curtains. We've had the uh, steel curtain. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, Pittsburgh still has some called the curtain. I mean, they went behind. They had a, a line that was like steel curtain. Now, we've had curtains and nations that block people. But tonight, we will go beyond the veil, and Jesus will step out behind the curtain and say, Satan, I defeat you 2,000 years ago and I'm doing a curtain call somebody give the Lord a praise he's in the dugout he's on the right hand of God but will you open your mouth and as the crowd would do and give God a praise like you appreciate him knocking it out of the park a veil call a lot of information has been released even we didn't leave the Generations, ears, and millennials out. They waxed eloquent through a panel and gave us a readout of what the enemy is trying to do to destroy our entire generation. And then on last night, the Lord allowed several of our ministers to speak the word of God. It was amazing. Just awesome. Talking about the Father. Amen. And of course, Elder Rochelle talking about Esther. That when we pray, it impacts all kind of people. And it is it's, it's unveiled that what the enemy tried to do to do to destroy he was not able to succeed because we've come into the kingdom for such a time called this we're not confused about who we are we're the salt of the earth and we're the light of the world and elder jack is they just call on the names of the lord and uh dr juliet says look these are elementary found fundamental truths that if you know dad papa to be a father he will then <laughs> allow us to communicate to him not like he's God Mason you told us that um, in the Old Testament they talk to God like he's God but in the New Testament he's our father and you said he's not in some trees he's not in the second heaven where Satan is what they call him you said he's up in that third heavens and that's why our prayers got to go and we can communicate to him and call him daddy God what a word amen and so Juliet began to say not only do we know him as the father and the communicator but we also have covenant rights Amen. God says, my covenant, I will not break. I will not alter the things that's gone through my lips. But I love that last dimension of the fundamental elementary truths. These are elementary things we're doing tonight. Amen. I love uh, when it talks about power. That's the last thing, that you have the power to command and make some decrees. Boy, that's a good segue from where we end. If we got the power, come on, we don't just know about his father. Tell us about the power that's about to be released. There will be different dimensions, diversities of gifts, some loud, some strong. Some may just stand flat-footed and wear the devil out, but you better know that they all, all these intercessors know God. I'm going to get out of the way. You'll hear from me at the uh, tail end, maybe to introduce a couple of people, but we're just going to kind of let this flow. I've asked, we have a board of ministry of intercessors. They pray at 5 o'clock in the morning. They don't just have a surge <laughs> during tonight, but I want to make sure with all the information that we heard, that we don't just get lazy, but we just actually be violent and take the kingdom by force. Our head intercessor is Elder Nisa. She'll be the last one, Nisa Smith. But we'll kick this off with Lionel Harbin. And Elder, they're a man's man like Mason. He just, boy, he get to go in there. It's going to be good tonight. And they all have a topic. They'll tell you what they're going to be praying for if you'll let them know the areas that you're praying for so we can get in air uh, in agreement. You don't have to stand the whole night, but wherever you are, get in agreement. I'm not going to preach tonight. Don't worry about that. It's about a surge. Everybody say, it's about a surge. Everybody talking about surge of flu and surge of jobless and all, baby. Here come the real surge, amen. And uh, we'll hear from Elder Pat uh, Minor, amen, walks in several anointings, <laughs> uh, accounts, and uh, helping with the finances, real estate, grandmom, communion server, the whole nine yards, and she don't play with the devil. She don't put more people in houses than F uh, FHA. Come on, somebody, if you need a house, she, uh, she may slip into that. Who knows, amen. We'll just kind of go on uh, from there, and uh, Elder, uh, El uh, Alvin Ramsey, and uh, just several will come forth tonight. Elvira Parks, I think that second half will kick us off there. And if I miss anybody out, just introduce yourself, amen. This is, I'm just winging it. I'm just kind of winging it right now. Well, uh, without any further delay, let's get ready for the surge. Let's get ready to act like we got a father in heaven. And uh, don't let them pray by themselves. Uh, I want you to help me to... to, to uh, 
to, uh, to greet, not to meet, because the devil already knows this man of God as he's coming forth. Uh, Elder Lionel Harb is going to take us into the throne room of God. Just come and get ready. Come on. Let's give God Hallelujah. the praise. Come on. Open Hallelujah. your mouth. Open your mouth. Yes, yes. Let it roll. Let it roll. Hallelujah. Give God praise tonight. He's worthy to be praised. He's our father. Not just God. He's our father tonight. We come tonight. Well, I, I want you to get in a position that you are praying with us instead of, you know, watching us pray. So this is a prayer conference. So everybody can participate. So tonight we're going to go before the Lord with uh, praying for government and authority. How many of you would want to agree with me that we need to pray for our government, pray for our, those in authority, which the word of God command us to do. So let us pray. Father God, we just bless you this evening. We thank you for this prayer conference. Father, we thank you for having us here tonight, Lord. We just bless your holy name tonight for you are worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, your name is so worthy to be praised. So tonight, Father, we come to you tonight asking right now, Father God, that you just bless those in authority, Lord. Your word command us to do so, Lord, in 1 Timothy 2, Lord God. You say to pray for kings and those in authority, Lord, that we might lead quiet and peaceable lives in all godliness, Lord. And, oh, Lord, we thank you. We bless you right now for those in authority tonight. Father, I just want to acknowledge our apostle, our pastor tonight. God, we lift up the man of God tonight. We thank you for him, Lord. Thank you for our first lady, God. We just bless you right now, Father. As you continue, Lord to, God, to use him, Lord, and speak through him, Father, we thank you for our spiritual authority in this house, Lord. We just bless you. We praise you for Elder Thompson and Lord, we thank you right now for the Board of Ministry, Board of Trustees, and all the elders and deacons and leaders. God, we thank you. We bless you for their gifts and callings. God, we thank you for what you have in this house. This is a house of prayer tonight. So, Father, we bless you tonight, Lord God. We pray for our president, Lord God. We lift him up tonight, President Biden, and we just lift up him and his family tonight, Lord God. We lift up his cabinet right now, our vice president, Lord God. We lift up. Uh, Vice President Harris, God, we thank you right now, Lord, for their lives. We pray right now, God, for their minds and our hearts tonight, God. We thank you that you're surrounding them with people of prayer, God. We thank you that you're surrounding them with godly counsel, Father, right now. We ask that you just strengthen them, Lord, God, not only in the natural, but in the spirit, Lord. We pray right now, God, hallelujah. Even for the world leaders, God, we pray for their hearts and their minds, Father. We pray that the word of God will have free course in their lives, we pray for salvation, Lord God. Oh, world leaders, God, we pray right now, God, that your word, God, will be a lamp unto their feet and a very light unto their path, Father. We pray for salvation for the world leaders, God. We thank you for the prime ministers, God. We thank you right now for those in, in, in different uh, uh, offices of government, Lord, all over the world, God. We pray right now, Lord, that you will strengthen them, Lord God. Oh, God, let us be light. Let us be salt, God, all over the world, God, that the word of God will have free course in their lives, Lord. We pray right now, Lord God, even on our state level, we pray right now for our governor. Uh, we pray for Governor Ivy and the state of Alabama. Father, we pray. We lift them up tonight, God. We pray right now, God, for those uh, in, in the, in the most in those governors, Lord, all over this land, God. We pray right now, God. For legislators, God, we pray right now. For integrity, we pray right now, God, that you, you the, the heart of the king is in your hands, Father. We thank you that you will turn it which way you will want it to go, God. So we thank you tonight, God, that you, their hearts are in your hand, Father. And we bless you tonight for our leaders, God, and our, those in authority, even on the city level. We pray for Mayor Woodfin, Lord, in the city of Birmingham, God. We pray for him, Lord. We lift him up before you, Lord, God. We lift up the city council, Father. Continue to just, Lord, strengthen them, Lord, God. We pray right now for the word of God over their lives, God. We pray right now that they know you, Lord, God. Hallelujah, we pray right now, Lord God, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, Father God. Be over all our government officials, God. We pray right now, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God, that they consult your word, God, that your word is your true authority, Lord God. Oh, God, you say heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word will always stand, Father. So we thank you for your word, God. We bless you tonight, God, for your word. The word, God, hallelujah. 
the word that transforms, the word that saves God, the word that heals. We thank you right now for the blood of Jesus tonight, God. Let the blood of Jesus cover our, our officials, Lord, our, those in authority tonight, God. Let the blood of Jesus cover our minds and our hearts and our souls, God. We thank you tonight, Lord God. As they do their job, Lord, we pray that they will do it with integrity, Lord God. That they have a moral compass, Lord, to do it according to your word. We thank you right now, Lord God. You say, if our hearts condemn us, Lord God. God, we thank you right now, God. That our hearts are after you, Lord. Their hearts are after you, Lord God. We bless you right now, Lord God. We thank you right now for what you're doing in the hearts of men, God. We pray right now, God, for our leaders, God, that they will not operate on their own, on their own mind and their own hearts, God. We pray right now that the enemy has nothing in them or on them. We pray right now that the enemy will not control them, Father, in the name of Jesus. That they will look toward you, Lord God. They will look toward the hills from which cometh thy help. For all of our help coming from you, Lord, tonight. So we pray for those in authority, Lord God. We pray that they have a mind and a heart to serve, Lord, with gladness, Lord God. Hallelujah. That they will serve with a pure heart and clean hands, Lord God. They will not rule, God, with selfish agendas and motives, God. We pray right now, God, they will serve with love, Lord God. That they will love their job, love their position, love the people, Father, first of all, God. We pray that you will have your way in them and through them, Lord God. Oh, God, oh, God, we bless you right now, Lord God. We thank you right now for all of our leaders, Lord God. That you will have your way, God. That they will look toward the hills, Lord God. They will seek first the kingdom of God. And your righteousness, Lord, you said all the other stuff you will add, Lord, all the other things you will add to them, Lord, if they seek you first, Lord. So we thank you tonight, Lord God. As we go behind the veil tonight, Lord God, we thank you right now, Lord God. We thank you for that place behind the veil, God, that place of communion with you, Lord. That place of fellowship, that place of mercy, God. That place of your presence, Father God. So in your presence, there's fullness of joy and at thy right hand there's pleasures forevermore so Lord God we we go behind the veil tonight Lord God we go behind the veil Father we seek you tonight Lord God we seek your face tonight Father like never before God let there be a surge Lord God of your power and your authority Lord God in this place tonight Father we thank you right now for the word that will come forth Tonight, from the other intercessor, the word that will come forth from our apostle tonight, God. We thank you that this place is already saturated. This place is already prepared for the word of God, for the spirit of God tonight, Lord. And we bless you like never before, Lord. Oh, God, we thank you. Hallelujah tonight. Let us fast in your presence tonight, Lord God. Hallelujah. Your presence, Lord God. Your mercy, your grace. We thank you tonight, Lord God. We pray for our leaders, Lord. We pray wisdom and understanding. Lord, counsel and might. We pray right now, acknowledging the fear of the Lord over our, our leaders and authority, God. We pray right now that you will give them quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. So we bless you tonight, Lord God. The sevenfold spirit of God be upon our leaders, God. Tonight, be upon your people tonight, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Let it rule and reign in our lives, Lord. Let it Oh, God, have it rightful place in our lives, God. We thank you right now, Father. We exalt you, Lord God. We lift you up high above this place, Lord God. We lift up the name of Jesus tonight. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. So I, we lift up the name of Jesus tonight. Father, that you may continue to draw, Lord God. That you may continue to speak to the hearts of men. We thank you right now, Holy Spirit, sir. Continue to have your way in this place and in our lives. We thank you tonight, Lord God, for what you're doing, Lord God, in our lives, Lord. We thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We thank you for this time, this night, God. We bless you. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory 
in the mighty name of Jesus. And we take to the glory of God. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless you, God. And as we stand here tonight, going beyond the veil, interceding on behalf of families and blended families. Father, we stand before you right now, enter into the holy of holies before the righteous and most holy God, the creator of all things. In the beginning, God, you created the earth and all that dwells therein. You created man in your own image, and out of man you created woman and gave them instructions, though, God, to multiply and be fruitful, Father. And there the family was created, Father. And we pray for families, oh, Father, that they go back to the beginning of where and how God instructed you to be. We thank you, Father, that they would be in the unity of a faith of love, of peace, of provision, acknowledging God, you, Father, the source, the very reason we live, move, and have our being, Father. We call families that have been divided, oh God, to come back into the place, the abandoned fathers, the abandoned mothers, oh God, the way with children, Father. We declare and decree this day and forevermore that the hand of God will be upon them to bring them into that place in God that you have ordained and destined them to be, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the mother being the mother, the father being the father. God, you gave the man instruction to be over his wife as you are over the church. You cared for the church. You provided for the church. You gave them instruction, Father. And even when we messed up, God, as Adam and Eve did, Father, and were separated from you, oh God, you never forsook them or left them. You sent your son, Jesus, to redeem us back to that place, Father. So we thank you for families, Father, the unity of the faith that you give them wisdom on how to train their children up in the way that they should go. For your word say they will not depart from it, Father. And we thank you that they're able to discuss their failures and their disappointments and let them know that they're not forsaken nor forgotten. Oh, God, we believe in you, Father. We trust in you, Father. And even though they may not be united in holy matrimony, Father, and they've gone different ways, married, Father, let the biological father and the stepfather be in unity with the children, oh God. For only a step of the word, but your word is truth and your word is life. So we thank you, Lord, for the blended families, Father. We thank you that the love will be shown to them like they're shown to the biological. We thank you that you give the mother and the father wisdom of how to guide them, how to understand them, how to discern what's going on with them, Father. That the children won't be afraid to come before them and discuss their failures and disappointment, Father. So we bring them back into the unity of the faith of our love and our peace and our joy and provision that's nothing too hard for God. So, Father, we release right now your word and your consuming fire, your consuming love, your consuming peace over the families, oh God. So whether they've been going that way or this way, you'll bring them back together, oh God. For your word in Galatians 6 and 2 says, bear the burdens of one another, for this is a way to fulfill the law of Christ. And we declare and decree that our families will be united in love caring for one another, that the children will respect the father and mother, and the father will not provoke them, but he will train them up in the admonition of the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and it's in your name, Jesus. So we declare and decree families, when you get together this Christmas season, where we are celebrating the gift, the most precious gift, that's the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that as we gather together, his presence, or be in the midst of you. And as you share the gift that you do materially, that you share the gift of love, as God so love you. In Jesus' name, we declare and decree wholeness and protection, provision and peace and support for the family. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Come on. Let's give God a praise for the first uh, two areas. Let's thank God those are critical areas. Let's thank God for Elder Lionel and all that he released in our government for the world leaders. Come on. Let's put a praise on it. Uh, praise team, Elder Stanley. They're getting ready to come forward. But let's just seal what we just did. They call it prayer and bowl. Let's seal in that God told Abraham he's the God of all families. God said in Joshua, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Come on, somebody. I'm just sealing in what they prayed. Uh, uh, over in Acts 16, 31, God said, if you believe in the Lord, your whole house shall be saved. Is there anybody left in your house, in your entire extended family? Come on, thank God right now. Somebody say, I must tell Jesus all of my burdens. I cannot bear these burdens alone in my distress. Families are in distress right now. So thank you, Brother Lionel, for reminding us that we start, first of all, with our world leaders. Uh, even to uh, 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 what's happening in Ukraine. Thank God for what's happening there. Uh, and with Putin uh, and with President. Let's thank God. Let's seal in. Even what's going on with uh, President Galinsky. Uh, even what's going on in the United Kingdom. Uh, uh, over, even with the Netflix that's happening with Harry and Meghan. That, that that thing will be disarmed. Come on. The kingdoms will not fall. Let's pray for our world leaders. We ain't going to be listening to no national inquiries. Let's thank God right now that the kingdom of Great Britain, the mother country, stands. Somebody give God a praise. World leaders huh? in the G20s, in the G7, somebody give God a praise. Come on. You're the soul of it. You're the light of it. Whatever you bind on earth shall be found. Even to praying for uh, uh, Mayor Whitman, he told us, uh, the city council, they're getting ready to do some stuff with Caraway um, uh, Hospital. Landmarks that used to be there for years. I'm not going to preach. I'm just going to come in between. Uh, but now they're about to have a demolition crew and tear down the old and the new is coming. Old landmarks. Come on. Somebody give God praise. That new buildings are being erected. City council, uh, you ought to give God a praise. That God's doing new things in your life. Things that's been standing for years are falling to the ground. It's called caraway. God's carrying some stuff away. Somebody thank God for the city of Birmingham, Alabama. Give God the praise for all of the progress. Come on, we need another surge of progress for our city. We need another surge. The world games just left. Come on, we need another major door. The Legacy Arena was built. We need another surge. Come on, give God a praise. Uh, Y'all ain't talking to me. The squadrons came. Uh, the pairs got built. Come on, railroad park. We need in the next five years another surge of building. Somebody give God a praise for our government. For our government. Amen. Right down the morning Congress. Uh, uh, in our Heritage Center. Give God a praise right now. We're getting ready to do something we've never done before. The church and the business community is getting ready to connect together. 12 days of Christmas. That 12 represents a new administration in West End. Somebody give God's praise. We're hooking up with the business. What we're trying to say is we must be about our father's business. We must be about our father's business. Somebody give God a praise that new businesses are coming in West End. It is not drug dealing business. The, the kingpins, the kingpins will not be the governors of West End. The kingpins will not be kings. Mr. Come on, Rukata. Not the kingpins. Not the gangs will not lord over Birmingham. Come on, we're just talking. I, you know, you, you just stir me up. Our schools, no gang banging, no classes dismissed, no shut down because of flu. A full term, we lost too much ground during COVID when they shut the schools down. Our grades got behind. We're asking God to stop the enemy, to use the taser to stop it. Praise is a taser. Praise is a taser. Praise will stop the enemy in his track. Somebody said, yeah, in about three more months, all the schools will shut down. Not on our watch.
Amen. Our children, our Shadrach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they, they, they have the sevenfold spirit of God. That uh, brother Lionel closed with, I love that. He said, may the sevenfold spirit of God rest upon our leaders. Spirit of God rests upon you. Spirit of counsel rests upon you. Spirit of might, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and the fear of the Lord. That our children would grow up to be 100 years old. Sevenfold spirit of God. We release oh, the police to know what to do. The firemen to know what to do. The health department to know what to do. They will not scare us with their monthly prognosticators. Not even the weather mean government, y'all. About to shift into some worship. I was, I was saying this in uh, uh, praise. Get ready to come up now uh, and seal what I'm about to say because this is critical. Whoever's going to stand, who's Stanley? Whoever's leaving, come now. I have, I'm going to start singing. <laughs> Amen. I don't mind singing. I'm just going to roll on the street. I don't want here, but don't worry about that. Okay. All right, now watch this. Watch this. We're going to put some worship on this. Everybody said, we're going beyond the veil. We're going to worship what we throw in another way. I was, you know, I've been talking about Isaiah 47, 13. God says, if you're going to let the stargazers, weather patterns, what's in the atmosphere, flu in the atmosphere, Isaiah 47, 13. He says, you become wearied with all the forecast. He said, well, let them save you. Either you're going to look to the stars or the stars going to rest over Jesus and he will save us. Are you hearing me? But I was thinking, I was telling Cheryl, I said, you know, have you thought about what the news does? Because a lot of our faith and what's happening in the earth is based on what we get from the news. There are two people in the news business, the church and the news. But, well, it's, well, I don't even do newspapers anymore. It's all sensationalism. They, all their stuff is designed to be sensational. Even in the weather, they don't call their vehicles that look for a report. They don't call them sun chasers. They call them storm chasers. It's all a negative. Everything is negative about it. Now, here's what blows my mind. Again, I'm looking at, we got an event coming. Always respect whatever. And you're looking at the percentage of if it's rain or the sun. And they'll have on the bottom, as they got this 30% chance that it's going to rain. But it's a 70% chance that the sun's going to shine. Right? They never put the higher number. They always put the lower number. There's a 70%. Do you know what that would do to your spirit? If you read, read the rest report and say, 70% chance that the sun's going to shine. But they always give the negative because part of the world system is to bring fear. Let me deal with the COVID thing. Say the numbers are spiking and surging. It's up to 10%. That's one out of 10. I got to think of one out of 10. That would be 10 out of 100. That'd be 90% of the people are not going to do it. Come on, I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. 90% of the people will not be impacted. If 1 million people died during COVID, 350 million people lived. Can you see what we're up against? Can you see? And I'm saying this from the book of Numbers. There's a whole book called Numbers for a reason. Because when you're looking for a God in the promised land, Moses, the man of God, sends 12 spies to get a news report. 12, 12 went up. Two came back and said, we can do this thing. Ten said, we can't cause the... It's surging. They're giants. And they brought back an evil report to the congregation. When we worship now, we are about to release a good report of 10. It don't need but two. Because he said, if any two of you shall agree as touching, I will affect the earth just because two people are in prayer. Because one of us can take a thousand to fight 
and just two of us. That's beyond the veil. And the ten had everybody's ear. Caleb, who he talked about, at 85 years old, number says, stood up in that congregation and steeled the people because the people were petrified, horrified. It was horrendous and a horrific report. But Caleb, the seasoned man of God, stood up and steeled the people. The same praise word that is say your praise steals the enemy. He steals the people because the good shepherd leads you beside. Steal one. It said, let us go out. We're not staying at home. Let us get up and watch and possess the land, even if there are giants still in the earth. We gonna possess it. The giants don't have to be gone. Get ready, singers. Get ready. The next set of uh, intercessors, Elvira, Lisa. I just want to make sure we is behind the veil talking here. Look at your neighbor and say. Your giants don't have to be dead to attack us now. Your giants don't have to be gone for you to possess the land. You can possess it in the midst of your giants. He prepares the table while your enemies are still present. We don't have to wait till COVID is over. We don't have to wait till your credit is over. You don't have to wait until the battle is over. Shout now. Shout now. For 2022. And shout now for 2023, my God. Let us go up at once. Don't even think about it. the singers get ready to seal this with a worship. I'm reminded of Genesis chapter 1. When God looked at what was going on in the earth. Genesis 101. God saw what was happening in the earth realm. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 1. But some change. And the Earth was without form and void, and God saw that, did he? But God wasn't moved by what he saw. What's in the earth doesn't move God. It doesn't have to be. What's in your earth doesn't move God. If there's sickness in your body, in your mind, what's in the earth does not move God. Somebody got to talk to what's in the earth. Don't tell me flu is in the earth. Don't tell me unemployment is in the earth. Don't tell me depression is in the earth. Say something to what's in the earth. Get some stuff still in the earth. And then it said, God didn't even mention what was in the earth. He didn't say, darkness be gone. Said nothing about the darkness at all. He said, let there be light. Because God ain't moved by, he's so unmoved by your darkness, he don't even call it by name. He just called those things that be not as though they were. He's a call center, my God. you say he didn't even mention darkness he didn't even mention the emptiness he said let there be healing let there be the breath not pneumonia of the Holy Spirit not RSV let there be, let there be abundance. 
not emptiness. You will have, I heard Andrew Womack saying, Matthew, Mark 11, 22, 23, 24. Have faith in God. 23. Whosoever shall say in God, say it. Whosoever say unto this mountain, you can possess a mountain and you can say something to a mountain. Whosoever, look at your name and say, you got something to say about what's going on in here. You got something to say about what's going on in here. Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but if you believe in what he said shall come to pass he shall have whatever he said we're not going to have what they said we're going to have what you can have it if you say it you have to say it to have it. You have to say it to have it. If you keep saying what they said, you can going to keep having what they said. But you can change it by saying what he said. You will have what you say. Yes. For the worship. I know we think we got one place to go, but I'm going to turn it over to the worship team and we'll come back and when they get through, we'll have the next round of intercessions. We'll go in and out of this. Tell somebody we in beyond the veil. We got to get hope now. We got to get hope. We got to get some reports to change. We need some police reports to change. We need some financial reports to change. And we'll hear from the rest of the intercessors of the presence of Elvira is going to come and go out. And he's here. Uh, and uh, uh, Elder Nisa will just bring this whole thing. We're out there right now. Amen. We didn't come here just to play. We didn't, not doing Christmas. Either. Come on, singers. Let's worship around what God said. Do what you do. Do what you do. Please lift your hands to the king tonight. The only king. <laughs> Said I really love you forever, forever, you're our king. I love you, for.
forever my king. Forever, oh God, you're our king. Father, we love you. We adore you. God, forever, forever, you're our king. You're our king. You're our king. God, we love you. God, we appreciate you. God, we need you. Forever, you're our king. Holy Spirit, breathe afresh. Breathe afresh. Pour out the freshness of your spirit, mind, body, soul. Oh, God, breathe. Breathe on us, Jesus. Breathe on us, lover of our souls. Breathe on us, Holy Spirit of God. Pour out your spirit on your people, Father, like only you can. You're our forever king. God, you're the lover of our souls. God, we came to have a little talk with you. God, you let us out. He said, come on out from behind this curtain. God, come on, God. Lord, we wait on you. God, we love you. God, we can do nothing without you. God, breathe the fresh us. Forever. 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 And ever and ever and ever. You're our king, oh God. God, I know. I know. Ah, mm. oh, Jesus. I just, oh God, such an awesome place. Awesome place. God loves you. He's your king. He's going to pour out his spirit of fresh. Lift your hand and, and let him pour all over you. The fresh anointing of God. My Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. God. Hey, Jesus. God, we need you. Glory. Glory. We thank you, Jesus. stand this moment forever because there's movement in the moment. Ah, I know I'm getting ahead of where I'm going, but God says, I want to hear your dry bones. They can heal. He says, if, you, if you're hurting right now, if you're stiff jointed, he says, stand up and move. There's movement in this moment. I see you on paralysis, whatever you want to call it, stiff bones. Dry bones. I want to breathe on your dry bones. All right. God, you're moving me fast. God wants to heal your bones in the moment. In the moment, there's movement. Stretch. Lift your hand. Bend. Move. God, start right here. I'll take it. I'll take it for mine, Jesus. I'll take you, Jesus. I'll take it for mine, oh God. I'll take it, Jesus. Let it be mine. Heal my bones, oh God. I'll take it. I'll take it for me. You don't have to grab it. I'll get it. It's free. God spoke very clearly, church. I have an assignment. My pastor said, pray for help. So I'm saying, God, Pastor told me to pray for help. Wonder why he said for me to pray for healing. The Lord said, I never wished you to be healed. He said, I wish that you prosper and be in health. I said, God, but don't you want me healed? He said, Yeah. But what you don't understand is every time I say help, I ain't saying healing. He said, I'm saying be made whole. He said, mind, body, soul, spirit, emotional, social well-being. He said, I'm about it all, but y'all want to stop me right there. You want me to just deal with 
disease and infirmity. So I already know many are the affliction of the righteous. But I am the verb called God. No, take that back, devil. I'm the noun they call God. So I deal with the person, place, and the thing. Person, place, thing. I'm God. I'm the healer. I am the God that healed thee. We'll take the health. During this season, devil, I pray, I decree and declare while you're trying to depress and oppress the spirits of God's people, I come against every spirit of depression now in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of lack now in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of you're not knowing where you're going and how you're going to do it. I come against the spirit that's got you worried because you don't have an answer. I come against the spirit that says you won't live through this season. I come against the spirit of grief. God, I decree over your people, Philippians 4.13. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. He, he empowers us to do. I speak to the one that's still asking the stupid question, what do the lonely do at Christmas? You get before your God. Make him the love of your soul. Kiss the sun. Make sure he ain't angry with you. That's what the lover do. That's what the lonely do at Christmas. They kiss the sun. They find Jesus. They repent. They be restored unto Christ. They give their life to Jesus. Life. I heard the Lord say, and I know Pastor 
had to download this in my spirit because I don't read it. So this would be a season we're in this year. Strong and powerful. That ain't it. I said we're in this year with the spirit open the chaos. I didn't remember that word. But I had to go back and look. It says we're in this year with an overwhelming conqueror spirit. We were in this year for the spirit to overwhelmingly conquer. We are more than. Oh yes, we are. You believe it. Receive it. No, God said it. And he's absolutely for real. Hey, Merry Christmas, y'all. God bless. Hallelujah. Come on, Congress. Come on, what a word, what a promise. Uh, hallelujah. What a promise is Brother Abby. Come give God the praise. We're going to end this year with as Congress. She said God's going to get his wish for Christmas. Uh, I was going to come back up and I didn't say I'll present her. I was going to wait, but let's go ahead and seal that in right now. That God at Christmas, everybody else got their wish list. God says in 3 John 2, I wish above all things that you may prosper. Properties help virus say, not healing, health. Not healing, health. Somebody give God a praise. Health. She said in Isaiah 58, 8. Bring it on the screen, Isaiah 58. Your, not your healing, your health. Isaiah 58, 8. Your health shall spring forth speedily. Somebody give God a praise. Not for healing, we're beyond healing. Somebody give God a praise for good health. That you're healthy. You're not healed. Healthy means you are completely whole from the top of your head. What a word. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Proverbs 3, 7, and 8 says, It shall be health to your navel. The word health. We are not going to be restricted by what the health department says. No, this year would not be guided by what the health department. There's one greater than the health department. There's one greater than CDC. There's one greater. The health department is in heaven. The original. Somebody give God a praise. We appreciate research. We appreciate flu shots. We appreciate vaccines. Uh, we appreciate all those things. But somebody give Jehovah Rapha, the God of health, of our, my God. Overwhelming health. Come on, that's veil talk, y'all. That's veil talk. That's veil talk. Amen. Your health. It shall be health to your navel. Health to your navel. Health to your navel. Amplified Bible. Call the navel your nerves. Bring up the Amplified. Your nerves. Your nerve. Tell somebody you got the devil nervous. When you attend to the word, when you acknowledge God, 3, 4, and 5, with all your ways, when you honor the Lord with your substance, all that's in Proverbs, it will be health. Your time has something to do with your health. Health to your sinews. It shall be to your nerves. And it shall also be sinews and marrow. What a word. Marrow. Think about the three things God's saying. I'm just interpreting. I'm not going to preach. She said the word is health from beyond the veil. Your nerves, your central nervous system, paralysis, spine. Your sinews, your muscles. Muscular dystrophy. Muscle spasms, your sinews. That's what she started out saying, breathe on us. She said, breathe on us. She said, breathe on us. It was an Ezekiel 47. I'm just interpreting. I don't have a sermon. Cheryl said, what's your notes? I don't have no notes. I'm just taking notes on what the Spirit of God says. 
Ezekiel 37, she talked about the dry bone, and she said, breathe on it. And God breathed on them. It was nothing but dry bone. Somebody's at the place are almost dead, have lost so much weight, they're disappearing. But the breath of God is entering into your body. <laughs> breath of God, breath of God, breath of God. We need a touch from you. Shine down on us high with the light of truth. Let there be light, let there be light, let there be light, let there be light. Sign of righteousness. Come on, we behind the veil now. That's what she just prayed. Ezekiel 37. And God breathed on them. Holy Spirit. That's what Brother Lionel said. Seven, Spirit of God. Spirit of God. Tell somebody. The Spirit of God is breathing. Breath of God. Breath. We need. Tell anybody good. Shine down on us. With the light. Genesis 1. Let there be light. Stir our hearts. Every heart. Palpitation. Heart failure. Holy Spirit. This place. Brother Lionel, you pray for the Spirit of God to be on the leaders, on the kings. But I bet we would think about the kings and the priests that are in this audience. Come on, kings. Breath of God. First of all, prayers, intercession, giving of things, made for all men, kings. Not just the natural king, the spiritual king. You are kings and priests. And may God on every apostle, on every prophet, on every believer, on every businessman, on every boy, every girl. Help, help the apostles, help the leaders, help the evangelists, help the singers, help the deacons, a healthy church. This place, ask him again soon at Tanovana. Help us, help us, help us. God, breath. Shine down on us. With the light. Stir our hearts. Stir our hearts. Oh my God, y'all sound good. Set our spirits free. Holy Spirit. Where there's a missing kidney, fill the place. Fill the place. Calcium, potassium, iron, iron, iron. Bread of God. Holy Spirit, bread of God. You need a touch. Shine down on us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Shine down on us. Make his face to shine down upon you. Lift up his countenance. Oh, we're in that place now. We're in that place now. This place. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Somebody thank God. We done pray for President Biden. We done pray God for God for President Zelensky. Zelensky. We done pray God for Governor Ivy and Ainsworth. We pray for the county commissioner Tyson and Scales and Stevens. We pray God for Crystal Smithermans and Senator Smitherman in our own house. O'Quinn and all those that sit on the council, Heritage Center, thank God now for those that's in our body, right down to the body, the body. And he breathed and sent you, as Ezekiel 37 says, and they stood on their feet. Somebody that's in the home that's not been able to get up, get up on your feet.
Rise and be healed. Get up on your feet. Get up on your feet. Even in your spirit. Rise and be healed. Get up on your feet. Even if you have an image of it. Rise and be healed. In the name of Jesus. Let faith arise in your soul. While Bill Bozeski, a Russian evangelist, used to sing in the early 80s with Oral Roberts this very song. He was charismatically Russian, and he would sing, Rise and be healed in the name of Jehovah Suri, the rock, in the name of Jehovah Megan, the shield, in the name of Jesus. His faith will make you make you whole. Hallelujah. Rise to new health. That means it, you won't lose it again. By Christmas, there will be a change in your body. He wishes, that's his wish, Third John. By Christmas, there'll be a change in your body. By Christmas, there will be a change in your body. By December the 25th, the angels will begin to hover over your body. You can bring those standards up. I can't get past that last word, health, health. I don't know how far we'll go tonight, but I must seek the Lord while they may be found. In this Christmas season, 3rd John, it's about the wish of God. It's about the wish of God. Everybody else wishing here. Amen. Amen. We're going from healing to health. Everybody say, we're in a new dimension. We graduated from healing. We've stepped into a dimension called health now. If you get healed, that means he can attack another part of your body. But if he's health, if you're healthy, he can attack you with anything. Now, last year was just COVID. Now he's got three things. RSV, he's got all kind of stuff. But somebody give God a praise for health. Healthy families, uh, healthy pocketbooks, healthy churches, uh, healthy cities. Somebody give God a praise for health. Ezekiel said they stood on their feet. When the Spirit of God got through breathing on them, and they became a great army. And they were going to say, and he opened. You don't mind me? Ezekiel 37 said, and he opened up their graves. And the Said the Spirit of God, there are those that the enemy has already uh, seen them lying in the casket and in the grave, sealed and tombed. But I hear the Lord saying, "I'm in the, uh, I'm going to cause my spirit to rest over there." That scripture is same Ezekiel 37, and He opened up their grave. Look at your neighbor and say, if the devil thought about killing you, God is opening up the grave. I will open your grave, that third line said. I prophesied and say unto them, all my people, I will open your graves and call you to come out of your grave and bring you into the land oh i feel the holy ghost your financial grave you're coming up out of uh, your family graves y'all better praise them right here i don't know where it's going to end i don't know where we're going to go come on I, I know we're trying to get to the next dimension but come on we gotta come on there's something going on there's a lot of people dying uh, that means god says i literally open up the grave and say you have no business being in there you that's a barred tomb uh, there's a barred hospital bed there's a barred wheelchair come on there's a barred car you go own your car i'm gonna open your grave come on somebody give god a praise that god is opening up more than doors he's opening up more than come on somebody else uh, then, 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 then the candle and candle food 
God in this season uh, is opening up graves. Uh, come on, suicidal graves. Uh, come on, homicidal graves. Uh, come on, somebody, give God a praise. But he ain't going to just open up your grave. He says, I'm going to do more than that. And that's a conjunction last night. And I will bring you into the land. When I open it up, you going somewhere. You, I'm going to bring you into something. The enemy thought he had killed you, but God's getting ready to bring you into a place that nobody else can ever bring you into. Somebody, please give God a praise now. Come on, we're in a surge right here. Come on, this is a surge. Come on, pray it in the Holy Ghost now. Let me hear you groan, 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 groan. Come on, let me hear some travailing. Let me hear some travailing. Let me hear some deep travailing. Come on, it avails because you travail. Come on, John 16, 21. A woman has sorrow. But when she travailed, she remembered her pain. I need to hear some deep travailing now. Come on. Instead of death, uh, there will be birth. Isaiah 66 uh, and 8 says, as soon uh, as Zion travailed, uh, as soon as Zion travailed, she broke forth. Uh, we're on the opposite end. Uh, we're not on the death end of the spectrum. Uh, we're on the life end. Birth, birth, birth. Birth, new birth, uh, new babies, uh, new jobs, uh, new houses. Uh, Isaiah 66, uh, come on, Kenna, there's birth. We cancel the death certificate and we release new birth certificate. May there be record births recorded and just may there be more births uh, than there are deaths. Uh, somebody, may there be more businesses uh, than there are jobs shutting down. Uh, may there be more obedience. Uh, somebody help me, I feel that we're right on the point uh, of a breakthrough. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, before, uh, before she travailed, uh, she brought, uh, she brought forth. Uh, we just saw that word. God says, I will open up their grave and I'm bringing, uh, God's bringing. Tell somebody, God's bringing it this year. God's bringing it to you. You ain't gonna have to look for it. God's bringing it to you. God brought Eve to Adam. God's bringing the husband up. God's bringing the house up. God's bringing your next connection. Somebody give God a praise to bring it up. I will open up your graves up and bring you into the land. But you gotta travail, huh? I need every woman to travail, huh? It says, uh, when she, before she travailed, uh, she broke forth. Uh, come on, somebody. Her uh, pain, uh, she brought forth uh, pain. Uh, come on, somebody, there's been pain, uh, but God's removing the pain, uh, and the pain was gone, uh, and she was delivered of the child. Uh, tell somebody, your pain is over. Uh, after the travail, the pain, and she remembered her pain. Uh, what was a heartache uh, last year? What was a headache last year? You are about to bring forth the grave is now open. Uh, God has exhumed uh, your grave. Uh, somebody give God a praise of God. Uh, Joseph of Arimathea is in the room. Uh, that was just a foreign tomb. Uh, that was just a foreign position of frustration. Uh, somebody, I feel the travail of God. Uh, yeah, let me hear you travail. No, 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 no. For the whole earth. Uh, for the whole earth. Uh, for the whole earth, uh, travailing them together with pain. Uh, Romans 8, 22 says, waiting on the manifestation of the sons of God uh, to witness, know that God uh, was adopting our bodies. Uh, somebody give God a praise. Uh, waiting on the redemption of our bodies. Uh, I speak to every physical body in this room. Uh, and I say, give God a praise. Uh, open your mouth. We're waiting tonight. Uh, for the redemption of our bodies. Uh, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed know that God has redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. Uh, he brought us out of the barren land. Psalm 107, 1, 2, and 3. Oh, give thanks uh, unto the Lord. Uh, I feel a surge. Uh, for he is good. Uh, his mercy is everlasting. Uh, and his truth uh, 
you endure it uh, to all generation. Uh, somebody give Jehovah Rohi uh, a praise. The Lord is our shepherd. Uh, he's a good shepherd. Uh, he takes the rod and the staff. Uh, his rod and his staff, they comfort me. Uh, thou prepare the table before me in the presence. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Uh, God open up the grave. Uh, God is opening up the grave. Uh, both past, present, and future. That was dead, that which is dying, uh, and that which is planning on dying. Uh, somebody give God a praise. Uh, I feel the sinews. Uh, I feel the nerves. Uh, and God spoke uh, to their sinews, uh, their muscles, uh, and their nerves all the way down to your CNS, uh, your central nervous system, uh, from your brain. Uh, somebody give God from the left part of your brain, the uh, right side that controls your speech, that controls your mobility and your walking. Rise and be healed. Move your left leg. Uh, move your right leg from the stimulus of the Holy Ghost. I hear I feel the oil on your brain. Uh, I feel the oil on your brain. Uh, I'm on your medulla oblongata, I feel the Holy Ghost uh, on your uh, on your uh, cerebellum. Uh, I feel you getting past uh, cerebral palsy. Uh, there will be no cerebral praise, uh, not just out of your head. I feel the oil uh, on your head sending messages uh, to every part of your body. How good uh, and how pleasant it is for uh, brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the ointment that goes down. Uh, Come on to the head, uh, to the skirts. Uh, come on, take that higher. Come on, I feel the sin of God. Uh, it's flowing down from the head uh, to the beard, uh, to the skirts. I don't know who you are, but I feel the oil of God. Uh, I ain't supposed to do it, but I feel it on your head. Uh, somebody don't even wait on an usher. Move now, I feel the anointing uh, on top of your head. Uh, flowing, if you need it, one, two, three, you better move now. Uh, I feel it affecting us. Uh, then there the Lord commanded the blessing, uh, even the life forevermore. Uh, move now. If you don't get it, you better get it now. Uh, if you don't get it, uh, I feel oil. Uh, hey, I feel the surge. I feel health. Uh, health. Uh, to your knees. Uh, to your nerves. Uh, health to every panic attack. Uh, hey, to your nerves. Health to every panic attack. Come on, I'm going to fight him on the stage. I don't hear nothing on the floor. I got to get by the speaker. Just come up. I'm sorry. Ain't nothing no sound there. I need to hear this here. It makes me go just bring him up on the side. I, come on, in the name. Come on, fight uh, In the name. Uh, uh, I feel the anointing uh, on the tightfold part of the brain, on the central nerves. Uh, back over the proverbs, it shall be health. Three and eight. Uh, it shall be to their nerves. Uh, to those that are panicking, uh, they show time that I'm, uh, Psalm 133 anointing, uh, it flows from the head. Uh, he anointed my head with oil. Uh, he anointed my head uh, that sends the messages from my body. Uh, he anoints my head, uh, every condition, uh, head of departments, uh, head of administration, uh, head of the house. Uh, Fathers, uh, there's an anointing to get ahead. Uh, you've been behind, but in the name of Jesus, uh, you will no longer be behind. Uh, in the name, can you see what the difference those monitors make? Uh, I can't deal with what I cannot hear. Uh, but faith comes by hearing. Uh, the anointing is on your head. Uh, it's on your mind. Uh, it's on your emotions. Uh, it's no therapy needed. Uh, I would give him perfect peace uh, whose mind is stayed on me. Uh, I feel the surge of the anointing. Uh, I feel the Holy Ghost uh, interrupting me like he did J.I. was. Uh, I was on my way to J.I. was house. Uh, but I feel there was a woman uh, with an issue of blood. Uh, a woman with a complication uh, in her biological reproduction. Uh, move now, woman of God. Uh, if you're having problems in your female, uh, in your cervix, uh, I need you to just jump ahead of the line wherever you are. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I'll pray for you once they come. Uh, put that woman as soon as she prevailed. Uh, she had an issue of blood. Uh, she had an issue of blood. Uh, Jesus on his way to the hours. Uh, I was on my way, Alvin, uh, Alvin Ramsey. Uh, I was on my way, uh, my God, to 
Jesus filled her, but something stopped me. I feel a surge when I first got this message. The first example I got of a surge was what happens sometimes when we're at more than comforts and a storm would have hit and we would come to the place uh, and the power would have been knocked off and, and we said there must have been a surge. Uh, there must have been a powerful surge. Uh, there must have been an electrical surge uh, and it knocked the power out. Uh, but we had to reboot the system. Uh, I'm rebooting the system. Uh, I'm rebooting the system. Uh, I'm rebooting the educational system. System uh, and rebooting as we go out the medical system uh, and rebooting the health department in Birmingham. Uh, somebody give God the praise. Uh, somebody, He anoints my head. Uh, he anoints my head. Uh, praise Him now. Uh, he anoints my praise Him now. Uh, you're on the stage, uh, but that's what a curtain call is, really. That's what a curtain when they're on the stage uh, and God pulls the curtain back uh, for those that are on the stage. Uh, he don't pull the curtain on the audience. Uh, it's for those that's on the stage. Uh, somebody give God a praise. Uh, you talk about a stage production. Uh, give God a, he's pulling it when you're on the stage. Uh, the next time you have a performance, uh, God's going to have a person in the audience uh, that's going to open up a door for you because you know how to be at the right place. Uh, I hear a stage production. Uh, I see you traveling uh, with some kind of uh, big play or big production uh, in the days that come. Look like it's around black history. Uh, yeah, I feel you on the stage in the name. Uh, Oh, you won't be the most tenured, uh, but you'll be the most anointed. Uh, you will be the most faithful. You will be, I feel a surge. Uh, I feel a surge. Uh, I feel a surge. Uh, I got to get out of here. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, I feel a surge of the anointing of God. I, feel, I got the praying uh, of the head. Uh, it is like uh, the precious uh, ointment uh, that, that flows down. Uh, from the head uh, to the body, uh, all the way to the skirts, uh, and then the Lord commands uh, one of the uh, one of the elements uh, of prayer last night by Per Juliet Ayrton that he's a father. He has covenant rights, uh, and she talked about uh, there were places of power uh, where that is power. Uh, it's when you command something. Uh, power is when you decree. We can't talk about prayer without power. Power is hitting your body. Power is dying in your head. Uh, something the devil has asked for. Oh, my God, lose her head. Uh, Satan has asked for permission to sip you as sweet, but I am praying for your head. Hey, that's not I feel the anointing burden removing your breaking uh, power of the living God uh, all in this place, uh, starting from the head. Uh, hey, it is health. Uh, Proverbs says, uh, when you acknowledge God in all your ways and lean not to your own understanding, uh, it says, so shall it be health, uh, sinews, uh, and marrow, sinews. Nerves and marrow, sinews, nerves and marrow. Back to Proverbs 3 and 8. Sinews, uh, nerves and marrow. The marrow is the blood bank of the bones uh, where there is no uh, blood in your bones. Uh, I breathe upon your bones, uh, but the blood begins to take oxygen. The blood begins to take nutrients to the bones. Uh, by the word of God, for Hebrews 4, 12, for the word of God is more quick and more sovereign than any two-edged sword piercing to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, uh, marrow and joint. It is a discerner, it's a sifter, it's, a, it's an analyzer of the intense motives and thoughts of the heart, seeing then that we have a great high priest, Jesus, the Son of God, that's passed into the heavens. Uh, let us hold fast, Hebrews 4 says, uh, our faith without waving for faithful is he that promise uh, let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy find grace to help well time appropriate help coming just when we need it uh, but he's a liability against all of our assaults uh, i feel the surge of the holy ghost uh, i feel the download of miracles
feel the word of God uh, doing by, uh, oh, yeah, 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 uh, no, uh, uh, yeah uh, sir, uh, I feel surgery, I feel surgery, I feel like this room is made to just turn into an operating room, uh, I feel out of the surge, uh, I feel the urgency, uh, I feel an urge, I feel uh, no longer splurging, I feel the scourge of the Holy Ghost, uh, I feel this is a surgery room right now, uh, for the fear of the Lord is clean, uh, for the surgery room must be clean, uh, Proverbs says, uh, for the fear of the Lord is clean, uh, you cannot do surgery uh, unless there is a clean atmosphere, uh, come on, God said, uh, you shall say to the righteous, in Job 22, 29, uh, when men are cast down, uh, then thou shalt say, uh, there is a lifting up, uh, and they shall be delivered uh, by the sterility of your hand. Uh, the atmosphere must be sterile. Uh, it must be clean. Uh, lift your hands now uh, and say, I'm delivered. Uh, God's healing, uh, Proverbs 3, Amplified Bible, uh, talks about the nerves. Uh, it talks about a threefold healing, uh, starting with the navel. Uh, the navel is the first place of divine connection. Uh, the navel represents the first place of divine connection. Uh, the navel represents the first place of a divine connection in life. Uh, the baby is connected by the navel uh, to the mother's umbilical cord, and because the baby gets her life from the mother in the same way uh, that your navel is connected to God, uh, crack baby, crack mama, crack baby, uh, come on somebody, poor, poor mama, uh, poor baby, uh, sick mama, sick baby, but a rich God, a rich baby, uh, a healthy God, uh, your navel is being healed, uh, your divine connections, uh, your sinews and your muscles uh, are being strengthened by the Holy Ghost. Uh, I feel a surge in this room. Uh, I feel a surge in this room. Uh, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Uh, oil on your head. Uh, the oil of gladness. Uh, the oil, wait, that's it right there. That's the oil of leaping. Uh, let her go. She can help. Let her go. Let her hands off of her. Hands off of her. Hands off of her. In the name of Jesus, the anointing to heal her. The hands off of her. Jesus' name. Uh, but no, 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 my son, let it hit. Hey, this is what I've been praying for. This is what I saw a surge uh, of the Holy Ghost uh, right down uh, to the marrow, uh, right down to the sin you. Uh, even if there's sin you in your, uh, what is it called? Side news, uh, side news, uh, side news, uh, side news. Uh, but I, I speak good news to your side news that has sin. Sin uh, in your news, S I N E W S I hyper news, S I N news. Uh, good news, how beautiful upon the mountain. Good news, all in your body. Uh, help to your body. Uh, oh my God, we closing this year out not with healing but health in the name of Jesus. Uh, good news is coming. Uh, good news, don't matter where you made mistakes at. Good news, the news is changing. I started talking about news. Uh, Somebody say it's a 30% chance uh, that you might not make it, but there's a 70% chance uh, that you're going to live. Uh, the numbers are changing. Uh, look at the neighbors. Uh, the numbers are changing in the name of Jesus. Uh, the oil of gladness. Uh, Hebrews 1 says, uh, are not they for ministering spirits? Uh, Hebrews 103, uh, 107, 20. Uh, he sent his word uh, and healed them and delivered them from all of their destruction. Uh, somebody give God a praise uh, for what God's doing in the midsection, uh, what God's doing in the infrastructure, what God's doing in the boat. Can these bones live? Uh, oh, ye bones, hear the word of the Lord. Uh, and I prophesied as I was commanded, uh, and I heard a shaking, and a coming together is not falling. Uh, it's all coming together. It's all working together for your Good. Uh, somebody help me praise God. Uh, somebody help me praise God. Uh, Y'all ain't talking to me here. Somebody help me praise God. Uh, I, I feel, oh, dress shit. Uh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, I feel the Ruach of God. Uh, I feel the Spirit of God.
moving. Uh, I feel the spirit of God moving. Uh, I feel the spirit of God moving. Uh, I feel the spirit of God moving. Uh, not only is he moving, but he's removing barrenness. Uh, he's removing emptiness. Uh, he's removing chasms of depression and despair. Hey, Jesus, in the name of the living God, uh, in the name of the living God, uh, I feel the oil of God. Uh, I feel not a cerebral. Huh? Somebody give God a praise that's not out of. Don't give him an intellectual cerebral praise. Get that weak praise. Give God a Shabbat. Give God a Shabbat. Somebody give God a crazy. I need y'all to go cray cray up in here. I need a stupid praise. Huh? I need you to jump like you hooper. Like you're overwhelmed. Huh? I need you to shout for joy. Huh? Like the man that had been sitting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Hey, huh? Like the man that was sitting at the gate called Pinova. he been sitting there. You've been sitting there long enough to have enough strength to get on your feet and leap for joy. Open your mouth. Huh? Storing up energy. Huh? Kinetic energy. Huh? Somebody give God. Huh? And Peter and John came alone huh? and said, silver and gold have I not. Huh? But in the name, huh? in the name, huh? Huh? in the name, in the name of Hashima, huh? in the name. A Hebrew word, Hashim, our Father, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, but deliver us. We had uh, the sentence of death. Uh, Second Corinthians says we would not have you in one in five uh, to be ignorant of our uh, troubles. Uh, we would be, I had trouble. I won't have you to be ignorant, Second Corinthians. We had uh, a sentence of death uh, over our lives uh, so much that we despaired, uh, even life itself. But it said, but God uh, who delivered us, uh, Doth deliver her and will yet deliver her that we will not trust in ourselves. I break sentences of death. I break jail sentences. I break judicial sentences. I break sentences from doctors and lawyers and school teachers. Every sentence that's been written to your demise. I cancel every alphabet. God says, I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I'm every letter you ever receive. I'm every bad report you ever got. I'm reversing it. That shit told her. I feel and Jeremiah 33 anointing where Elvira was. I can't get past her. She said, God says, I will heal you. And then God said, I will procure favor and I will heal them. But when you get to Jeremiah 10, 11, it says the time will come. It says, let the bridegroom begin to pray. It says, let them that begin to say, we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house. We bring the, and to those, Jeremiah 33, 10 and 11, Jeremiah said, those that bring the sacrifice, look at the neighbor said, it was a sacrifice for me to get here tonight. To those that bring the sacrifice of praise into the house, I ain't talking about where else you went. Uh, I'm not talking about some freaking play. Uh, I'm not talking to a ball game. Uh, I'm not talking to those that bring uh, the sacrifice, Jeremiah said. The sacrifice, I call it the sacrifice. Uh, the sacrifice, because it's a price for the sacrifice. To them that bring uh, the sacrifice of praise uh, into the house of the Lord, God says, I will turn uh, the captivity of those. Uh, I will reverse the decision uh, as it was at first. I will cause not a split decision, but a changing of mind. Uh, somebody give God a praise, Jeremiah said. Uh, come on, it's the voice of joy. Uh, it's the voice of gladness. Uh, it's the voice of the bridegroom. We ain't talking about a woman. Uh, talking about the bridezilla. We talking about the real bridegroom. We talking about Jesus and his bride, the church. Uh, come on, somebody. I feel the Holy Ghost. I better stop. I feel a surge in my mind. Uh, I feel the oil from the bridegroom. Uh, in Matthew 25, uh, a parable was talked about. At midnight, uh, Jesus came, uh, and there were five uh, 
foolish virgins uh, and there were five uh, wise virgins uh, and they did not have uh, enough oil in their lamps. Uh, tell somebody it's all about the oil. Uh, but the Bible said that midnight uh, the bridegroom came uh, and those that were caught up in natural covenants and jobs and weddings uh, didn't have enough oil. Uh, I anoint you uh, and it ain't even New Year's Eve yet. Uh, of fresh oil. They didn't have enough oil in their lamps, uh, but the oil is starting from your head uh, and is flowing down to your body. Uh, and they said to those that had the oil, uh, I can't do nothing about those that didn't come here tonight. I told you to be here, but those that are here tonight, uh, they said, uh, give us your oil. They said, we can't give you this oil because uh, we got just enough for ourselves. Uh, I hate to say it, uh, I will not be anointing oil uh, for those that did not make it tonight. That did not, this oil is for those that showed up tonight. Uh, it's not transferable. It's the bridegroom. Somebody give God a praise uh, that a bride is entering into another covenant. Somebody shout for your next deal. Somebody shout for your next covenant. Somebody shout for your next opportunity. Somebody shout for your next opportunity. Somebody shout uh, for your next anointing of glory. Uh, open your mouth uh, for the oil that's in this place. Uh, now on New Year's, uh, you'll get a second opportunity to bring some fresh oil uh, on that night. And there's a lot going on on New Year's. Uh, there's a night lot going on uh, on uh, 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 January 1st. Even my team Alabama playing game left. You think I care? I don't care nothing about no Crimson Tide that can't make the playoff. I will be in the house of God for fresh oil for the next three. You must be at the right place. Huh? You must be at the right time. Huh? You must be with the right people. Somebody give God a praise. You ain't cursed. Huh? If you don't make it, you just don't get this blessing. Someone, Psalm 133 said the oil starts from the head to and it flows down to the feet. Uh, and when the oil flows there, the Lord commands the blessing. Jesus, the oil is flowing. Come on, praise him. I feel the surge. I feel the surge. Jesus. Those that bring the sacrifices. God says in Jeremiah, I will turn their captives. I'm going to reverse the nation. Back over to Jeremiah 33, the voice of the bridegroom. The voice of them that say, praise the Lord. They made a sacrifice. And God says, I reverse, I turned their captivity because they praised me as it was at first. I was standing at the door, Kim Jackson, bear me witness around five. One of the members dropped off and said, passed them back into the house. Everybody that you see in the house, don't mean they gone, they left. There are so many people battling that you don't even know it as a pastor. I do, well, they must be gone. Sure, you must be driving. You ain't the pastor. Be quiet. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. And the lady said, me. My family, we're back. We ain't been here since before, so, but we were back. Said so we've had some things go on in our bodies. But God healed us. And we're back. Been gone time. So don't you try to judge nothing about what you walk in the house and see. Amen. That's the father. I'm going back to the foundation and the very infrastructure of MPC. We used to sing that Psalm 33. It said that God turns the captivity as it was in the first. I used to say, we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house and we offer up to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and we all i uh -huh. 
Sing a lot of the word of God. That's what we bring in. See, the church of the 21st century, we just bring in praise into the house, but we done lost the sacrifice of praise. We done lost the sacrifice. God don't bless you because you bring praise in the house. He blesses you and turns it when you bring a sacrifice. And we offer up to you the sacrifice. Thanksgiving, and we offer up to you the sacrifice. The anointing is real melodies, real mellow. I will, I will enter his gates with That the Lord, Lord hath made. I will rejoice for He has made me Oh, He has Central nervous to the sinews to open you. I will rejoice. Man, we're on stage. Curtis, I'm not Curtis, but Curtis calls that. Curtis calls that.
of all. I, I believe there's all of the finishing all tonight. I really believe there's all of the finishing all tonight. I really believe there's all of the finishing all tonight. Finishing strong. Being through with stuff that's all it had. I think this is a finishing all tonight. I will enter. It's just a mellow moment. Mellow moment. appreciate Hill song and all the new songs that we're trying to learn, but sometimes we just got to go back and ask for the good old past, man. Jeremiah 6, 16, you got to ask for the good old past. Surge that's been building. Yes, yes. Come on, let that rise. 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 You made a way. Hallelujah. You made.
anointing that's in the room. It's not what we planned. We had two more ready to drop bombs. resting him. It's just resting him. Tighten it up for me. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Tighten it up for me. You've been so good. So good. You're not too young, boy. And I just want to thank you. Ooh, I feel the anointing all on your body. I feel the reverence of God all on your body. Feel, don't be afraid to respond to that. I feel the anointing all on your body. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's all on your body. Yes, yes. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's all right. Make you whatever you feel like moving. Hands, like whatever. It's on your body. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. Let it out. 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 Let our mind go. Let our body go. Let our destiny go. best conferences we ever had and not end like this. How, 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 how? Everybody been saying, if, if God was blessing and using the whole family, that was intentional. I tried to put together a team that represented everything that's under my authority. Men, women that's in the house, has been around for a while, Elder Rochelle, Elder Jackie, I am a, I ain't picked them because I wanted to make sure that you were represented in the house of God. No respect. I'm in my first sermon. I've been talking about a study. sacred desk.
Lord, I, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. share a prayer today. We read out of the message Bible about prayer. Not the lang brand new repetition here to make us attack our shoulder and feel it all over again. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hospital rooms, I bless you in the name of Jesus. Dark rooms, I bless you in the name of Jesus. Where you're out of room, I bless you. May your gift make room for you. I bless you in the name of Jesus. As I end tonight, um, those of you at home, whatever it is the Lord lays on your heart, Off restoration offering just call the Jeremiah 33 I will call to captivity to be reversed saith the Lord those that bring their sacrifices back into the house of the Lord to the band Intercessors and those that facilitate at the house of God, we thank you for your praise and I will.
The conference is still going to take a little bit. The residual running on Sunday morning, and we'll continue to stay beyond the veil. Amen. Um, I believe that this um, standing with grief tonight may be the longest tonight. Just commend you to the word of his grace. We were able to build you up in your, your rightful place. May not a single word fall to the ground. No participant in this facility of evil man be touched. I must admit, I thought it would be a surge, but I believe all of these have happened tonight. I guess it's the plan. that desire to bring an offering to the Lord. Feel free to do that. The late, great Aunt Elias is there. You go with God. Anywhere, anywhere. Go. Go. 